Yo, yo, yo. Welcome back to another episode of Shy Boys Podcast. I'm a little stuffy today, y'all, so I got my tea with me. God, I got my tea. But uh, on today's episode, we got to talk about just how good Nikola Vucevic has been good for these Chicago Bulls and the expectations if my guy can really put it all together for the rest of the season. Then we previews tonight's game with the Chicago Bulls and the Indiana Pacers. But y'all know y'all got to hear the music first. Cognac. Gang. Shy Bulls Podcast with the Cognac Boys. I'm Cognac Boy Bobby. And I'm holding it down on today's episode for me and my dog. See it up. Bro. Hope y'all feeling great. Last night, yesterday, didn't do no daily because, boy, that Monday night, woo Boy, I exuberated so much happiness and energy until that night I woke up. I was a zombie yesterday. I was running off caffeine. For real. The coffee had me. And then I was just, bruh. Y'all know when y'all come in and y'all come in from work, you so tired, you just jump in the shower and flop in the bed. Bruh. That's how it was for me, y'all. But we back and we rolling. We rolling. But on to the topic. Man, how impressive has Nikola Vucevic been in four games for your Chicago Bulls? Very impressive. Very impressive. It started last year in the playoffs, bro. Against the Milwaukee Bucks, the two constants of the team was DeMar DeRozan and Nikola Vucevic. Zach Levine was hurt, looked like hot trash. Kobe White, he was building his own brick and mortar shop. He was hitting so many bricks against the Milwaukee Bucks. Billy Donovan wasn't that good. Uh, Ayo Dosumo wasn't that good. He barely even got on court. It was just Lonzo Ball wasn't even there. It was just bad, ladies and gentlemen. But this year, Nikola Vucevic has hit the ground running. He's averaging 18 points, 13 rebounds, and three assists. We're going to round it up. It's 2.8, but we're going to round it up. Well, that's how we was taught in school, so don't argue with me. Argue with your mom. It is nonetheless. And one and a half block. See, we can't. See, the only the rule is if we the only way we round up on the Chicago on Shot Bulls podcast, if this is a, a point six, if it's a point five, we're going to call it a point five, at least from back. It's a point five. So we're going one and a half block. If we give it up to 1.6, we're going to say it's two blocks. That's the only way we're rounding up on <coughs> Shot Bulls podcast, goddamn. And if you don't know, I'm a little stuffy today. So, but it is what it is. We're going to keep chugging along, y'all. But the realistic expectations for me when it comes to the Chicago Bulls, I said there'd be a second round exit. It still holds Pat for now. You know what I'm saying? I want to see these guys put more games together. I want to see what they do if and when Lonzo Ball comes back. Because if and when Lonzo Ball comes back, me personally, if Ayo Dosumo got a, a, a half of the season and he's going crazy like he did in the last game, I'd rather have Lonzo as on a limited role than to force him back as a full-time starter. That's just me. I believe that continuity is key. If you feel me, oh bro, y'all see me? If you get that, snap for me, snap for me. But all jokes aside, if Lonzo Ball comes back, I'm not putting, I'm not disrupting what Ayodo Sumo got going on because Ayodo Sumo, from the from from what we've seen, he's able to spot the mismatches, and the rest of the Bulls players are spotting the mismatches to get Nikola Vucevic the ball. I'm not saying that Lonzo can't do it. I'm just saying that Ayo right now is building that continuity, building that confidence right now, and by this by All Star break or something like that, it's gonna be stronger and stronger each and every night. So. Man, and big kudos to Nikola Vucevic. I'll be the first to admit, I was one of the ones that was like, bro, he trash. He gave he gave a good offensive output, but the man had on squibber, squibber shoes. What they call? Comment below. What they call? Squibber shoes. <laughs> Scuba shoes. Whatever. He was, bro, he could not move his feet. He, it looked like he had to be underwater to move his feet. 
We all know the pick and roll game. But this year, Nikola Vucevic has been good. He has been great. Exceeded all my expectations. And I'll be honest with you. Exceeded all my expectations. For real. He's playing defense. He getting back. He taking advantage of the mismatch. Keep up the good work. My man just gave you 23 rebounds against the Boston Celtics. That's the Eastern Conference final champions, and they was in the finals. They had Al, or Al Horford on the court. Vooch was like, you still too little. Come on. You still too little. And what I like is that the Chicago Bulls team, they're identifying the mismatches, and Nikola Vucevic is going to work. Hard work, work. He going to work. So you got to give it up to Nikola Vucevic. And for all my people that come in, what all that, what all that, yo, we talking about Trey Vooch, what, what, Bro, he was, he was, he was not good last year. He was okay. He was okay. But then at the end of the season, into the playoffs, he got it better. But I still call it a pick and roll, pick and roll, pick and roll, pick and roll, pick and roll game. A game that I never forget. But if Nikola Vucevic continues to play how he, pl I want to see him play against the Dallas Mavericks. I do. I want to see him play against the Dallas Mavericks because that's when teams start to hit him with the pick and roll, pick and roll, pick and roll, pick and roll, pick and roll. Jason Kidd said, "Hey, Luca, run pick and roll all night. Big bro ain't gonna step his. He ain't gonna step up to stop you. So let's see. Let's see." Now we all, so y'all hit the comment below, man. Comment below, let me know how y'all feel. Nikola Vucevic has been playing. He deserves his kudos, and uh, let me know what y'all expectations is. I'm going to still stick with the second-round exit for the Chicago Bulls. Y'all let me know how far can the Chicago Bulls make it with Nikola Vucevic playing like this, and then if other things start getting rolled. Let me know. I'm still saying the second-round exit for now. For now. Now we preview the Bulls versus the Pacers. The Bulls are 2-2. Two and two. The Pacers are one and three. You know what I'm saying? And I like Tyrese Halliburton. I like Buddy Hill. They got a Miles Turner. They got a lot of young pieces over there. That so far they lost to the Washington Wizards. They lost to San Antonio Spurs. They lost to the, they won against Detroit and they lost to the Sixers. So they sit at one and three. They in a run for Wimbyama. Whatever what's his name? Wimbyama. Little French buddy. Seven foot. Four, big top, bro, smooth, steady, on bro. So, yeah, it's a it's a game that the Chicago Bulls should win handedly. You know what I'm saying? But will the Chicago Bulls come out ready? They better come out ready. I, me personally, I expect another big game out of Ayo Dosumo. And kudos to Ayo Dosumo. My boy just went crazy, but at the same time, you know what I'm saying? They got uh. Oh, over here on the Pacers squad, they got Benedict Mathurin. I like him. I like him. He did a lot of chirping, too. He even sent some shots at Bron Bron. He said, you got to show me. You got to show me. I like it, though. I like it, though. You know what I'm saying? But when you do play the Lakers, you better hope those comments don't bite you in the, in the backside. But you can show out because the Lakers are trash. So it is what it is. But back on to the thing. I expect a big game out of uh, Ayo Dosumo tonight, and I expect Zach Levine to continue to get his feet, get his legs and feet under him, and then continue to roll on. Roll on, baby. You already know. What the big time is say? Everybody, get your roll on. Yeah. Yeah. So I expect these guys to go out and play, and I'll be honest with you, man. I said it once. I said it twice. I heard other people say it. We really underestimated this Gordon Dragic pickup. We really did. So I expect, I'm going to be honest with y'all. I think it's going to be a, a, a good game early on, but then I think in the second half, the Chicago Bulls pull away. Blow out. Chicago Bulls, man, they're going to beat the Indiana Pacers. Y'all go ahead and drop y'all predictions in the comments. Let me know who y'all expecting to have a great game. I'm already saying the player of tonight's game will be Ayo Dosumo or Cornrell Kobe. <laughs> If you don't know who Cornrow Kobe is, that's DeMar DeRozan. He lit them up last year. He was doing what he was doing. But, hey, 
I expect great things out of uh, Ayo Dosumo. That's going to be my uh, prediction for play of the game tonight. So y'all go ahead and drop your predictions in the comment box. If you're new to the channel, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell. If you want to leave a voicemail or a comment on anything that we talk about here on Shy Boys Podcast, hit up the new number. As Ply said, I know it's number, but Ply said number. So um, we're going to say number. <laughs> That's you gonna we have fun over there, but the number is 773 242 9219. Hit the voicemail, comment below, let us know because we're gonna start doing mailbags as well. Let us know, hit that comment box. Hey, we appreciate y'all. We're gonna catch y'all on the next one. Cognac. 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 Cognac.